Recently, Opera announced their new gaming browser named Opera GX. For the past month, I've been testing it out. I'll give you a brief tutorial going over its many cool features and let you know if it's worth using. At this time, Opera GX is only available for Microsoft Windows computers. You can download it by going to opera.com forward slash GX. Let's open it up and dive right in. Just like the standard version of the Opera browser, GX is based on Google's open source Chromium, so it's compatible with Chrome extensions. More on that later. While you won't see dramatic improvements to your gaming performance, you will find many features built in for gamers. When you open up this browser, the landing page is the GX corner, which lives in the upper left of the tab bar. It features a section for new, upcoming, and interesting games. Below that is the deals aggregator, which shows you the latest deals from Steam, Humble Bundle, and Fanatical. Right now, this section is set to all. You can filter the results here at the top. Your choices are Windows, PlayStation, Xbox, Mac, Linux, and Nintendo Switch. If you scroll down the page, there's a daily news section. The default is gaming, with other categories for all, entertainment, and technology. With the landing page out of the way, let's go to the top and open a new tab. This is where you'll find the familiar, yet convenient, speed dial. If you don't see one of your favorites listed here, select Add a Site. And in the box, put in the address for the site, and select Add to Opera. You can left click and drag to move these wherever you want them. When you first get started using Opera GX, you'll want to head over to the Easy Setup menu located here in the upper right. You can pick one of the pre-selected colors. If you click on Extended, you can choose any color that you'd like. I'll go back to Basic and select the default color, which they call Potion Red. If you have a Razer Chroma enabled keyboard or mouse connected to your PC, you will see an additional option that I don't have just below colors located in this area that says Razer Chroma. If enabled, it will change the RGB lighting on your mouse, keyboard, and the browser theme all at the same time. Below that, there are several wallpapers for you to choose from. If you don't like the choices, you can select the Add Your Wallpaper button to add an image from your computer or click the link for Get More Wallpapers. This will take you to the Opera add-on store. Let's close out this tab, and back in the Easy Setup menu, if you scroll down, there are additional settings and features that you can change. The notable ones include Show Bookmarks Bar, Browser Sounds when Navigating Opera, a built-in ad blocker, and many others. I've decided that I'm not a fan of the browser sounds, so I'll turn those off. To the left of the Easy Setup icon, clicking on Snapshot will let you capture your screen. There's a button here at the top to capture the full screen, or to capture a specific area, left click and drag, and when you let go, click on Capture. You have the options to mark up the image here at the top. In the lower right, you have the choice to save the screenshot to your computer or copy it to your clipboard. If you've used other browsers like Chrome or Firefox, the primary menu is in the upper right. With Opera GX, the menu is located in the upper left corner. This is where you'll find the standard browser features, including the ability to open a new private window, view your history, downloads, bookmarks, change your settings, and the other typical stuff you'd find in a browser menu. Below the menu in the sidebar is GX Control which is one of the coolest features of this browser. In this panel, you get a RAM limiter and a CPU limiter, which are designed to limit usage of this browser when enabled. By default, both are disabled. Just toggle the switch to turn them on. The RAM limiter will show you the memory currently being used along with the amount of RAM on your computer. I'll move the memory limit to seven gigabytes. Enabling hard limit will prevent the browser from exceeding the limit you selected. Below that, the CPU limiter works in almost the same way. 
select one of the available limits to ensure that the browser does not exceed the processor limit. If you play games while also having a browser window open, Opera claims that games will run more smoothly when using GX Control. Even if you don't play games, if you own a computer with low system specs, enabling the RAM and CPU limiter in Opera GX just might be what you need to ensure that the browser is not slowing down other programs that you're using. In the sidebar below GX Control is the Twitch panel, where you can browse your favorite channels and get notifications in the Opera GX browser when those channels are live streaming. Below Twitch and the History panel is Extensions. Included by default is the Opera Ad Blocker. Click the Get More Extensions link to browse the add-on store for Opera. A must-have here is the Install Chrome Extensions add-on which gives you the ability to install extensions from the Google Web Store. By default, the last sidebar here on the left is Settings. You'll see that some of the settings I showed you earlier in Easy Setup are here as well. If you scroll down, you have the ability to change the appearance, search engine, and startup options. Here at the bottom, if you click on Advanced, this is where you can change the privacy and security settings. And if you scroll down some more, you can enable the VPN and battery saver, along with many other settings. The so-called VPN is the same one that is available in the standard version of Opera. I do not recommend using it. It's less secure than a full standalone VPN service because it uses a proxy to encrypt your traffic and the network performance is terrible. Calling it a VPN is misleading. It's really just a proxy service. Let's move on before I go into a rant. If you'd like to add more options to the sidebar, here in the lower left, click the three-dot icon. You have additional choices, including Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and many others. I prefer to have the bookmarks easily available, so I'll add that one to the sidebar. If you want to import your bookmarks from another browser, inside of the Bookmarks panel, here at the bottom, click Import Export. Select Import Bookmarks. Select the browser, then the items you'd like to import. I'll just leave it the way it is. And then when you're ready, click on Import. I won't repeat this step, so I'll cancel it out. But when you're done, those bookmarks will appear here in Opera GX. Now it's time for the verdict and some closing words. Is the Opera GX browser any good? The short answer is yes, it's very good. Even though it's in early access, it feels like a fully functional modified version of the standard Opera browser with additional features that should appeal to gamers, including the Twitch sidebar, a RAM and CPU limiter, and additional personalization options. If those features appeal to you, you should try out Opera GX. For me personally, they don't. So I'll stay with my three primary browsers, which are Firefox, Vivaldi, and sometimes Chrome. Thanks for watching. What's your opinion? Does Opera GX have the features you want and would you use it? If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss out on the latest reviews, tutorials, and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.